That desolate place you don't go snowboarding? Guess what Rob Kingwell and Seth Westcott are going to do there? Kulasuk Island sits just off the southeastern corner of Greenland, which makes it isolated even from one of the most isolated places on Earth. And the main village has fewer than 300 people. us up at the airport and the sun was out and it was like hey you guys want to get in the helicopter and away we went Greenland is just so spectacular. It's really deceiving, like when you sit looking out the windows of the hotel, it's hard to get a grasp on the scale of how big things are. It's like seeing an aircraft carrier up close for the first time. The scale is just unbelievable. Most of these runs only start at about 2,000 feet above sea level. But when the run ends at sea level, well, do the math. What's cool is when it's slushy, it's actually a lot more like surfing. It's just as fun or more fun sometimes than riding powder. I don't think I've ever experienced a place where you visually saw how on the edge of where humans can survive is. In Antarctica, like you have like the little scientific settlements, but that's just for people that are coming down to study what's going on with the environment or the birds. And here, and this is equally as remote, except this is where they live to hunt and fish and call it home. And, and then you look just over here and it's like, 
that wall of ice is the end of where humans can survive. Gideon Kunak is just like any other local anywhere in the world. He knows where the goods are. It's just that in Greenland, that means he knows where the polar bears are. So we hear about this guy who actually killed a polar bear, skinned it, took care of it inside his house. Figured he'd be a good person to ask where we might be able to see a polar bear. Mountain polar bear. Good luck. One of the interesting things about being this far north, it's dark in the winter almost all the time, and in the summer it's light almost all the time, both of which might actually make you go crazy. A pretty remote place on the planet, right next to the Arctic Circle, giant icebergs everywhere in the ocean, right next to your house. I would have left a long, long time ago. If this is where I chose to set up camp, I would have been like, you know what? I'm kind of over the never-ending wind and darkness all winter long. Might have gone somewhere a little, you know, softer. just blew me away. It's so vast. The terrain is just endless. The snowpack was just bomber, and you could go anywhere, and you're dealing with like 20 hours of light right now.
this culture, these guys are just so evolved and they're so tough. You have to be a badass to be from this town. The thing about exploration is, it doesn't matter if you're doing it at the edge of the earth or the edge of your local ski area. You wind up appreciating the most unexpected things because you never know what to expect in the first place. One of the cool things here is you can like howl with the wolves. You feel like you're a member of the pack after a while. Oh! They never did see a polar bear though. I'm Johnny Mosley, and winter starts now.